Frank from Loopback Enterprises, I'm back again today to show you how to upgrade your computer from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6. The newest thing that's going around and right now I have a Wi-Fi 6 router. I have zero Wi-Fi 6 devices in this house. So instead of having all these Wi-Fi 6 devices bottlenecked by a Wi-Fi 5 router, it's the opposite. This is bottlenecked by every single other device in this house. And once again, I have 10 computers. Too many. So, um, one thing to notice right off the bat is, yes, I am out of uniform today. If you don't know what this is, it's Unity 3D. It's game, video game development software. Um, you know, it's used to make things like this up here. Check out my video game development channel. There will be a lot more content coming to that in the upcoming couple weeks. So before I just go ahead and swap everything and everything magically is faster, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run some speed tests and show you what the current speed I'm getting is and then after I install the new one I'll run the speed test again to see if it's actually faster. So just right off the bat, this is the one that I decided to put in there when I built it. So this is the one that's currently in my computer, which you know it's, it's not bad, it's, it's a pretty good card. The only thing is AC, we want AX because this is Wi-Fi 5, we want Wi-Fi 6. Both cards are Bluetooth 5.0. So that's the one that's in there now. This is the one I bought. It just arrived today. It's basically the same. It looks the exact same. The antennas are different. Um, you know, if you get this, you can have this awesome curved display in this expensive computer as well. <laughs> I don't get that. So first things first, to run the speed test, let me make sure. I'm actually going to... Because this is a wireless card, it deals with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It has nothing to do whatsoever with Ethernet. That's done through my motherboard. So I'm actually going to unplug the Ethernet just so we don't have any skewed results. Okay, so Ethernet is unplugged. We're connected to the 5G network. Or 5 gigahertz network, I should say. So... Okay, so in the last video, I screwed this up. I use DuckDuckGo, I just type in O-O-K-L-A, Ookla, and it pulls it, you know, right up right here. But the actual URL is www.speedtest.net. This here seems to be a very good one, a good independent. A good independent speed test. So, I want to use the same server. So, I am going to use, let's go with the Fusion Network. So just to see beforehand, you know, it's it's pre pretty good. It's a lot better than it used to be, so. Okay, so the download is done. Upload, always, through any device, no matter what I do in this house, it's always limited to 24. Download though, 357.67, that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead, shut this computer off, take it downstairs, and swap it out with the new card, which I actually, let me show you that real quickly. I'm going to run some more speed tests and average things out, but of course, I would like to actually show you. This is the box it came in. There is no indication anywhere on this box that it is Wi-Fi 6. So I thought it, there was a chance because on the text Amazon sent me, they said AC, not AX, which indicates Wi-Fi 5. However, Amazon is just wrong because on the bottom of the card... And see down here, 6, Wi-Fi 6, which is good. And it says the Intel AX200. So this is definitely a Wi-Fi 6 card. Also, they advertised it as Bluetooth 5.0. This is 5.1. So hopefully this will fix the issue of letting me connect my Xbox controller to my computer. But we'll see. So I'm going to take this down, swap it out. Right, I have no idea where that went. There it is. Just gotta go with the tilt and shake method. Okay, so after I got the screw out and pulled it out from wherever it was hiding in the computer, 
Basically, I'm just going to put my finger underneath this part of the heat sink, pull it towards me, and kind of move it off to the right at the same time. Just by doing that, it slides right on out, just like butter. So I'm going to go ahead and undo this clip, or at least try to. Oh, there we go. So this is the old card. Still in very nice condition. No, like I said, it's not a bad card overall, but you don't spend how much money upgrading your network and not have a single compatible device for long. So now I'm looking at the new card, which is on the right. So as you can see, it's a little shorter just by a tiny bit, but it also seems to be quite a bit fatter, which isn't going to really make a difference. So. So to install this into your computer, it's basically the same thing, just the reverse. So there are some slots up there. You just have to match these hair up. You have to get this inside the little, well, when you look back there, you'll see it. So when installing the new one, if you look back there, you can see that uh, black thing here, this long black thing with the gold pieces in it. So right there, as you can see, there's a little bit of a break. You just need to get these two pieces, the gold pieces here, into there. So I'm basically going to do the same exact thing I did to remove it, just the opposite way. So actually first, let me just go ahead and connect this pin into here. So it's got the two little things here on the bottom. And on this side, you have a little bit more space at the top. So those two little things coming out go in that direction. Go ahead and just pop it into place. So it's going to go like this. So that seems like it's all the way in, so just put the screw back in the side here. It's a really awkward angle. It's good. I don't recommend you make it super tight because if you ever need to take it out, it can be difficult. So go ahead and put the screwdriver aside. So to me, it looks like that's plugged in. It looks pretty straight. And now you have the new spot for the new antennas. So uh, it's plugged into the motherboard. So I'm just going to get it, throw the case back on the side, and take it upstairs and test it. So actually, before I do take it upstairs, I'm going to go ahead and just put the antennas on. So this is a little bit different than the one that I had had before. By the way, they give you everything in this box. They even give you another one here for a small form factor computer, a little mounting bracket. They give you the USB header cable that connects to the motherboard, user manual. The drivers, I guess, are on this. I'm going to have to see how that works in a minute. And then, to be honest, I don't... Oh, it's a screwdriver with screws. Look at that. Did not know that... I didn't even check that out. So that's actually a really good deal. So for right now, I'm going to leave the plastic on these antennas because I don't know if they work. I'm just going to screw them onto here. I don't believe it matters which one goes where, kind of like connecting the other antenna. Okay, well, now I guess I'll go test it. So I had brought it up. I had gone ahead and opened the internet browser and went to the speed test. I hit go. And this is interesting. So if you notice, it's about the same download speed. 
So what's going on here? Well, this is where things get interesting. I go to Device Manager and it senses Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX200 160 MHz. So it realizes or it recognizes the Wi-Fi. However, there's still no Bluetooth. And if I go down here, there's no Bluetooth icon. I type, hit the Windows key. Go into Bluetooth. Not connected. Bluetooth is turned off. So that means that the card is not inserted properly into the computer or the drivers need to be installed. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to install the drivers, see if that helps make a difference. So included with the package is this thing here. It's a little USB drive to take the cap off. So supposedly you plug this in. I'm going to click on whatever it tells me to, and I should get this working, hopefully. Plug it in so you see there's one for Bluetooth, one for Wi-Fi. We'll do Wi-Fi first. So click yes. As you can see, date modified 9-20-2019, so this is about a year old, this software. Hmm. What was that, it, or...? Okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to install this one, then. Next, accept, next. I'm gonna go with custom just to see. Ooh, I don't know. It requires an entire 54 megabytes on my hard drive. Not sure if I have enough space. Next, install, and wait. And then go ahead and click finish. And I'm not sure if this one here actually installed correctly. So I'm going to run it once more and then I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer. So I don't need this anymore. Still no Bluetooth. Okay. Don't know how to do it like that, so I'll do it through the keyboard. So that's Windows X. You hold Windows, tap X, release both, tap U, tap R. So hopefully soon I'll have a keyboard shortcut series coming up. Still nothing for Bluetooth, so maybe it's just not inserted properly. That's what I'm thinking. So last night I ran into issues, and as I predicted, it's just that the card wasn't in all the way. On the right side of the PCIe slot back there, there is a little lever, a little tab. So once you push it in, you have to pull the tab out to firmly lock the card in place, and I did not do that, so that's why I didn't have Bluetooth. So now, as you can see, I'm not only connected to the internet, but I also have Bluetooth here. If you look on top, see Bluetooth on, off, on, so yay, that works again. Okay, so something interesting to note is this is, once I reinstalled the card, I'm in the basement. So 182, I guess that's decent. I mean, the router's on the first floor, so it's traveling through quite a bit of stuff. Um, once I put the antennas and connected those to the Wi-Fi card, it jumped up to almost 360 and down here it looks like it's almost a full connection so I'm going to take it upstairs run a speed test or two and then be done with this so 
So I feel very stupid right now, and we'll get to why in a minute. But I brought the computer up last night, we ran some speed tests. And of course, with the Wi-Fi 5 card in there, I averaged 357.236 megabits per second. Exact number isn't relevant, you don't have to memorize that or anything. So with the new card, it's 359.87 megabits per second, which yields an increase in internet speed of only 2.634 megabits per second and I was kind of shocked I said after all of that why isn't it faster it should be like 600 at least well um bottlenecks <laughs> back to bottlenecks again it's not the router that's the bottleneck it is the data cable actually that's connected to the modem the data cable here going into the back of the modem the coax cable that there Whatever is coming in from there determines what happens throughout the rest of your house or business or wherever you have internet. So I busted this out. This is an important piece of information here. This here is your monthly Xfinity bill. And, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So internet speed increase, extreme internet, 10 bucks. Okay, so I, I thought extreme internet was like gigabit speeds. So I went to their website and looked and, you know, digging around, which you have to do a little bit of digging, I found three plans or three prices. And one has basic internet, extreme internet, then there's gigabit. So apparently this here is actually supposed to be capped at 300 megabits per second. So I'm actually getting 60 more than I should be. Not bad. But essentially that's it. So if doing what I just did there, if you go ahead and if it's only 20 bucks a month to triple my speed, I'm going to go ahead and do it. But um, yeah, if you already have gigabit speed, that there would give you a lot faster results if you weren't getting gigabit speeds before. If you're only getting like 300 something megabits per second and you replace it with that Wi-Fi 6 card, you're going to get full potential. So... That's, that's how you do that. So if you, I'm just glad I didn't screw anything up. It's not me, it's, it's Comcast. It's what's coming into my house. So if you like that video, please just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like a lot of the content on this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. If you have a comment, you want to tell me how great I'm doing, how much I suck at life, please leave that below in the comments. Thank you for watching.